Good morning, Forrest. I'm Grayson. And I'm Emily. And today's date is Friday, September 4th. And on today's show, we're going to be taking a better look at what is going on in STN and how Cross Country has been preparing for their season. STN has been hard at work this past summer remodeling their studio, giving the show a new look. From the hammering to boards, to the sawing of wood. During the summer, our student television network and WCAT remodeled their outdated studio. Uh, we decided at the end of uh, last year that we were going to come in every Wednesday over the summer and, and remodel it. Uh, we wanted to take everything out of the studio, everything out of the control room. We painted the walls. Uh, we moved furniture around. Uh, we built this accent wall. We wanted it to actually look like a studio and it hadn't been remodeled since I took over the program 10 years ago. Not only did the members of STN spend countless hours remodeling their new set, but they also had the opportunity to bond. Um, yeah, going back to what we thought about at the beginning of the year, I mean, there were things that we wanted that we weren't able to get and things that we didn't think of that we got, like Zach and his tables, those are really cool tables. Um, the paint here looks really good. The plaques or the wooden pallets behind me look really good. And I think overall, I mean, I, I think it looks better than how we thought it would at the beginning. For our main directors, I want to have nine TVs, like in the TikTok grid, that have the same image. Uh, I would do that. I want to do a magic wall, which is an uh, interactive TV display, and I would like to get some more furniture for in here, you know, actual studio for furniture so that we can use uh, every single day. To keep up with WCAT, make sure to follow them on all platforms at FHS underscore WCAT. For WCAT, this has been Emma Beth reporting. Sophomores, juniors, and seniors, make sure to start bringing back textbooks as well as wearing your school IDs from last year. In activities, you can purchase your FHS gear, including forest hoodies, t-shirts, and quarter zips. If you're interested in trying out for the dance team, try out to from September 8th to the 10th. See Mrs. Rose in room 48. Let's pass it over to Ashley with our sports for today. Good morning, Forrest. I'm Ashley with your sports news for today. After coming back from a long break, our sports teams are getting ready for a big season. As we all know, there are new procedures for students on campus, and this includes our sports teams. Forest cross country and football teams have persisted through the side effects of taking precautions against COVID-19. It's easier for us to socially distance uh, while we're out there because every near about everything we do is outdoors. Um, so we make sure that we spread out as much as possible um, and seeing that our sport is a little bit more individualized. Um, I break up the team into different groups. Um, so we are in smaller groups while we're doing our workouts. Well, in football, we've taken precautions uh, since we came back to practice. We had a four-quarter system. The first quarter, uh, groups of 10 or less, and all the way to fourth quarter, where we have to uh, be able to uh, uh, release you know, the full practice. Um, the only difference is uh, we've really had a consistent basis of cleaning everything, especially during workouts uh, in the weight room. COVID's had a huge impact on our schedule. We've gone to where we were gonna have away games like in Orange County or Alachua County, and right now all of our games are within Marion County. So we've gone from a 10 game schedule, and I think right now we're sitting at a six game schedule. Schedules aren't the only big change this year. The way sports teams practice has also been affected. We're not allowed to get in close groups during drills. We're not allowed to break it down as a team. So it's definitely changed kind of the camaraderie of the team, just not being able to be so close to each other. We are having to stay at a rigid time schedule that usually we have more freedom in and we have to now stay apart from each other. Whereas before we could be a lot closer together and it would be fine. But now we have to stay separated and um, away from everyone else, both other teams and other people on our team. Even with changes, we are excited for the season to start. For WCAT, this has been Emily Risto reporting. Cross Country's first race is this Saturday at Horse Park starting at 7. Let's see how they've been preparing for the season. Alright, ready? Go! With the start of school comes the start of fall sports. And while they may look a little different this year, our Cross Country team has been preparing all summer long. Over the past summer, we've done workouts and we've done long runs. We've done speed work. We actually have speed work tomorrow. And we've been doing all different types of workouts to get us the best prepared. Not only have they been preparing all summer, they practice almost every day in the mornings and afternoons as well. Um, past years, we've had to like run all together as a group and everything. And now we have to 
go separately we have to stay six feet apart and it's really hard to run with people that you're the same speed as when you have to run separated from them. And while the runners have been working hard this summer, a lot of the team's success will be owed to the guidance of their coach. Um, I feel like we do have quite a bit of potential um, with some newcomers that came out as well as some uh, seniors that have developed um, and made quite a few strides over the summer. Our cross country team is ready for a successful season and we can't wait to see all they accomplish. For WCAT, this has been Ava reporting. If you're interested in joining cross country, you can see Miss Delk in the front office. That's all sports news I have for you today. Once again, I'm Ashley, now back over to our anchors. Thanks Ashley. It's amazing being back in school, but we have to remember to follow our new safety procedures and guidelines. Don't forget, Club Rush is coming up on September 16th. There will be a feature on every club, so make sure to tune in. One of the most creative and popular clubs on campus is our student television network. Not only do they produce a daily morning show, but they also compete nationally. So there's not only a club here at Forest, but there's also a national organization based out of Carlsbad, California. And so every year they plan a convention somewhere around the United States, and we plan and we go over there and we compete against other schools from around the world. A lot of people know us from doing the morning show every morning because a lot of STN members are in the WCAT classes, but they don't only put the work in in class, they put the work in on Saturdays, coming in from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. to practice like we would at convention. To be an STN, you need at least a 2.5 GPA, and it's also recommended that you are in his class. Um, between the class and the uh, club itself, it's, it's very different. Um, the club is more of a more family based, you know, we hang out all the time outside of school even. Um, the mocks from, were there from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Convention is just the camaraderie is insane. Spending four or five days in a different city across the country with some of your best friends. It's just really made a good high school experience for me. One of the many aspects that attract kids to come to this club is not only the board members but the other members of STN go out and advocate for our club. So when we're out filming or we're on campus and people are like, oh, what are we doing? Like when we have cameras and stuff like that, we're filming, we're always like, we're doing STN, like you should come join, like come to one of the club meetings or come in on the Saturday and like you can see what we do. If you wanna join a club that's really family based and based on bonding, but also creating content and competing, then STN is the place for you. STN meets on A days and B241 and see Mr. Guest if you have any questions. Ms. Harrison and Mr. Renfer bring fellowship of Christian athletes to Forest and are looking for officers and leaders. Applications are available in A164. That's all the news we have for you today. To stay updated on all things Forest, make sure to follow us at FHS underscore WCAT on Snapchat, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, I'm Grayson. And I'm Emily. Have a great day, Forest, And like always, Go, go Cats! Cats.